untreated heartburn or acid reflux can lead to cancer, which is pretty crazy. If you want a way to force your body to permanently stop acid reflux and heartburn in 48 hours, click the link in the description below. For now, let's get to today's question. The question, what are the causes for acid reflux and what can you do to relieve the symptoms? Answer by Rajinder Bala. You can reverse acid reflux in less than 7 days. Acid reflux shares the cause with diabetes and BP. Blood pressure has no symptoms. First line of medicines are diuretics commonly known as water pills. They make a person pee more often and increase the volume of urine as well. But diabetes symptoms are Increased thirst Frequent urination 50% of the people with diabetes or BP will get the other one in due course of time. So in both cases there is something wrong in fluids. In diabetes body is trying to get rid of excess fluids on its own. In BP person has to take medicines to get rid of excess fluids. Reduced body fluids increase the minerals and glucose concentration in fluids. So instead of eliminating minerals, salt, and glucose we need to take these to reverse these conditions. Thirst is caused when the blood volume is reduced. So the first target for management of diabetes should be to increase blood volume. Once thirst is managed frequent urination will automatically stop. Urination will reduce because in the absence of thirst a person may drink much less water. Drinking water with meals can improve health in following ways. This question had troubled me for more than 15 years. I changed various formats of drinking water. I drank water on empty stomach for a good 10 years or more. I used to avoid drinking water with meals. Results whitish layer on tongue. Increased sensation of thirst with passage of time. Fix saliva. Almost non-existing. The taste of food was impaired. I did not like the taste of most of the food that once I used to like. So two months back I decided to drink 200 milliliters water with each meal. Results shocked me I stopped feeling thirsty. Saliva volume increased tenfold. Food started tasting better. There seemed to be significant improvement in the sharpness of brain. Not drinking water for 36 hours was very easy. Let us first understand about what is there in our body. 65 to 75 percent of body weight is fluid. 15 percent of body weight is bones. 5 percent could be waste sitting in large and small intestines waiting to be excreted. Rest is fats, muscles and other molecules. So going by weight, volume fluid should be most important. Otherwise also bones, fat and muscles are fed the nutrients by fluids. They all are stationary. It is the fluid which moves from one place to another. So we need to control and understand the working of fluids. This fluid is there in three major compartments. Of the total fluid 10% is blood. Rest of 90% fluid is there in cells and in space between cells. Blood, 10% of total fluid, feeds the nutrients to rest of 90% fluids. Think what will happen if the 90% of the fluids fall short of minerals and carbs. Now understand that almost 70% of the minerals and carbs are manufactured in the body itself with the help of other minerals and enzymes. Think again if there is shortage of blood glucose and 90% of the fluids the body will raise glucose and the blood by assigning top priority to convert everything into glucose. Glucose is the single most important nutrient needed in our body. No diabetic dies due to excess of blood glucose. They die when body fails to meet the requirement of glucose. Heart and other vital organs do not get enough energy to operate optimally. The explanation of drinking water with meals is as under. When we eat food our stomach produces acids and other enzymes to convert the food and other liquids into a paste. This paste is passed on to small intestines. Small intestine is connected to blood veins, the minerals, carbohydrates, fats, proteins, water, enzymes, and other nutrients are absorbed in small intestines and moved to liver for further processing. After processing in liver the mineralized blood is sent to kidney for balancing of the minerals. Any minerals found to be out of correct proportions are filtered out. First benefit of this will be that blood volume will increase as more fluids will be absorbed with minerals because of more water content in the food. When we drink water on empty stomach or after more than 1 no minutes after a meal there may not be any fluid absorption in the absence of acids in small intestine or when water is taken on empty stomach. So drinking water with meals should help cure varicose veins problem. It should also help improve the skin. It should remove the dark eye spots and improve eyesight. It can improve cataract as well. It can prevent prostate cancer as well. 
there are one thousands of possibilities. But I remember very clearly that when I increased my water intake and started drinking on empty stomach all the health problems were cured in less than 10 days. Same result I saw with a lot of other people also. That is an indication that drinking water on empty stomach is meant to remove metabolic toxins. So we do need to drink water on empty stomach as well after every few days. Weight loss. When we drink water or any other liquid after more than 10 minutes after a meal, the water and other liquids are not absorbed in small intestines, in the absence of stomach acids. Stomach acids are produced only in response to food and not in response to water and other liquids. The liquids and water are passed on the large intestines. In large intestines also the excess water and vitamins are absorbed. However the large intestine does not absorb any minerals, carbohydrates, fats and proteins. This water is passed on to intracellular fluids. No processing is done by liver and kidneys. This is kind of direct reach to the body fluids which are passed on to cells. Over a period of time, the intracellular fluids around the large intestines become devoid of most of the minerals. These fluids are also striped off the essential glucose. In the absence of glucose the metabolic rate falls which causes increase in blood sugar to compensate for the lack of glucose in intracellular fluids. Absence, or lack, of glucose in interstitial fluids will cause flight of fluids from blood making a person feel thirst all the time. That gets converted into diabetes in due course of time. Not drinking any fluids except with meals will dehydrate the large intestine and surrounding areas of excess fluids. This will result in increase in metabolic rate. It will also help reduce intracellular water. Average total intracellular fluid makes up about 30 to 50 liters of fluid. That means a loss of 5 liters of intracellular fluid can be brought in about 30 days. That is the fastest and safest weight loss that is possible. The excess water reaching in large intestine is the cause for prostate problems. Read my blog for detailed explanation about the role of fluids in our body. My blog in brief. Chronic mineral imbalance in blood leads to low metabolic rate resulting in aging and age-related diseases like blood sugar, blood pressure and heart disease etc. To correct mineral imbalance to hydration dehydration cycles and to increase resting metabolic rate do walking and rest routines as detailed on my blog. Read my blog for more details and, or watch my YouTube videos at, Rajinder Balaj. To increase resting metabolic rate, RMR, do the following. Walk for 5 minutes at easy pace within your home in the morning. After walking rest for 510 minutes in bed. Repeat the above 3 times in the morning, afternoon, evening and at night before sleeping. So that makes for 12 walk and rest routines or 5 by 12 equals 60 minutes of walk for the entire period. One can do it selectively during weekdays and on working days only in the morning and at night. The idea about walking is that it mobilizes energy and before the entire mobilized energy is spent we rest. In such a case a part of the mobilized energy becomes available for vital organs. Doing walking and rest routines takes care of aging related diseases as well. Hydration Dehydration Cycles Day 1 to 5 Drink 150 plus 200 milliliter water with every meal. Total fluids intake on these days should not exceed 500 to 600 milliliters. Day 6, drink 150 to 200 milliliters water every hour from 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. Day 7, do not drink any fluid for the entire day. Repeat after 7 days till you are completely free of diabetes. Hopefully in case of pre-diabetics this will work in 15 to 30 days completely reversing the diabetes. After you get free of diabetes and your blood sugar reading are back to normal you can start drinking water at any time but keeping in view the above principles. The big question that one may be interested to know will be why should then a person drink water on empty stomach or at any time other other than meal. Initial results indicate that water reaching large intestines help removing the metabolic waste. So that is also equally important. Sugar, food etc. has no bearing on diabetes and blood sugar management. One to two persons have reported reversal of diabetes in less than 10 days. Also read my blog for detailed explanation of how the above steps ensure perfect health. Feedback will help lot of people out there. Answer by Vikram Chauhan. According to Ayurveda, normally the human body consists of three humor, vata, pitta and kapha. Acid reflux caused due to alleviation of the pitta humor in the body. It symbolizes fire and features are hot, sharp, intense, acidic, and pungent in that your. It is located in the stomach. Due to increase of pitta dosha there is an increase of acidic content in the stomach fluid. In these types of patient, 
The acid reflux is more often due to aggravation of the pitidosia which leads to acid reflux. Symptoms A burning pain in the chest that usually occurs after eating or may occur at night. Pain that worsen on lying down or bending down. Difficulty in swallowing. Chronic cough. Risk factors. Citrus products. Spicy foods. Peppermint. Chocolate. Herbal remedy for acid reflux. Amalaki Rasion. It is a standardizing extract of Amalaki. Amplica efficiens. Amalaki Rasion is the one of the richest source of the vitamin C. Vitamin C is called ascorbic acid. It supports digestion. It acts as an antioxidant which helps to remove the toxins from the body. It also helps to protect against the harmful chemicals. It helps in keeping the digestive system healthy. Pack size, 1 bottle, 60 capsules. Dosage, 1 capsule twice a day, with plain water after meals. Source, https, slash slash gl, gl slash uop, tmx, answer by, Chris Robinson. This is far too great a subject to be answered in one simple post. There is no one condition called acid reflux. To start with, acid and reflux are two separate conditions in themselves and their causes may be very diverse. Too many people like to think of this like having a headache and taking a tablet to cure it. If you read the free book, website, Down With Acid, you will begin to get a fee of the diversity and answers to your questions. Reflux is usually exacerbated by a malfunctioning set of muscles collectively known as the lower esophageal sphincter at the junction between the esophagus and the stomach. The esophagus carries the food bolus from the throat through the thorax, chest, to the abdomen. At the junction, two sets of muscles, the phrenoesophageal and diaphragmatic muscles, work together to hold the junction closed when the bolus is not being propped out towards the stomach, or for occasional relaxations for normal burping. The most common reason for reflux is a hiatus hernia where the stomach has been ushed back, herniated, into the thoracic cavity through the hole and the diaphragm the esophagus asses through the hiatus. The subsequent displacement of the TW sets of muscles means they no longer function properly. See this description. Simply put, Barrett's Wessex. The normal treatment administered for any sort of acid reflux is an acid suppressant. It only controls the acid production rather than the reflux but the reflux state is then less dangerous. Symptoms of acid reflux are also manifold and include heartburn and cough as two of the most frequently reported. Heartburn is felt when acid attacks the lining of the esophagus so is usually relieved by acid suppressants. The cough is a result of reflux which can not be treated by medicine and requires lifestyle modification or surgery. See the chapter on extra esophageal reflux, https, slash slash sites, google, com slash site slash do, in the Down With Acid book and subsequent chapters on various devices and techniques used to reduce it.